Oh, hello. Hmm, that shirt looks sexy on you. Does it? I uh, hadn't noticed. <laughs> Three, eight, nine, 98, 91. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Morales, but there's a new sheriff in town, and his name is Doug Heffernan. Keep going, my man. Build on it, build on it. 92, oh. 93, 94. All right. 90. Oh. Guess that one didn't land. At least you're in the record books, my man. Come on, let's hit the road. Come on. Geek. What? Could you please come to me? What's up? I'm not sure, but I think I may have shot myself. Really? Where? In, in a very, very bad place. Where? Right in the twins' playpen. Ooh. Does it hurt? Actually, no. It's it's like more of a little sting, you know, like a like a rabbit bit me. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. Maybe it's not in there. Maybe it just grazed you. Yeah, maybe it grazed me, right? Yeah. But do, do me a favor. Take a look. Oh, no, no. No way, man. Look, come on. Would you take a look, I please? I don't want to look. You look. I don't bend that far. Anyway, we're going to get rolling with a novel by one of the most truly interesting writers of the era, Charlotte Bronte. The book, Jane Eyre. I'm also handing out a list of 10 discussion questions about Jane Eyre. I want you to read the book. Look them over. We will discuss them when we meet again. Hey, I'm uh, Doug Hefferton. I'm here for the party in Mr. Brennan's apartment. Take this elevator up to the penthouse. I, uh, listen, I just came from work. Is there uh, some room I could change in? Nope. Well, where do you change? Changing room in the back. I can't use it. Nope. <laughs> Tickets to the wonderful show last night. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, bringing the. The noise bringing the funk. <laughs> this is, is a very lively. <laughs> I never have before, but go ahead, shoot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Who? Oh, right. I don't know. Uh, hello? One moment, Douglas. I'm making a phone call. Yeah, I'm already on the phone, OK? I'm taking a poll. My apologies. Carry on. Sorry about that guy. Go ahead. I don't know. How could you not know that? Arthur, would you just hang up, please? Why should I? The man's conducting a political poll, and he has the right to speak to someone who's not an ignoramus. Oh, yeah? If you're so smart, why don't you tell him that you live in my basement? Why don't you tell him you're enormous? Well, why don't you tell him that your total salary last year was $12? That was after taxes. Arthur, just stop talking, would you please? Sorry about that guy. Hello? Hello? Hey. Stay right there. Hey, hey, hey. The lady in the purple suit there. I know I met her before. Who is she? I'm sorry, I don't know her. Her name, her job, anything. No. My wife's gonna kill me. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, crap, 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 crap. Hey, Doug. Hey! to see you here. I was hoping to see you here. What are you doing here? <laughs> I work here. I know. I'm just saying, like, what are you doing here? Like, what's up? What's shaking? <clears throat> we miss you, is what I'm saying. We really miss you. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. We have got to get together. 
Wow, great. I, I'd love to. <clears throat> okay, just walk away now. Just say goodnight and leave. How about Sunday? <laughs> How about brunch? Brunch on the beach. On the beach? What beach? <laughs> Shut up! Stop talking! I would love that. I, I guess I'll set it up with Carrie. You guess? You make it happen! <laughs> okay, I will. All right. Well, you take care now, then. <clears throat> Douglas, aren't you going to introduce me? No! <laughs> aren't you going to introduce me? Oh! Oh, God, how rude of me. I'm sorry, this is Arthur, my father-in-law. Arthur, <laughs> this is, well, this is just one of the coolest people here at the firm. <laughs> She's a great gal. Think of something. Think. Get smaller when you cook it, huh? Hey, Arthur. Uh, what you, uh, what you got there? Pizza pie. Good for you. You're gonna have to stop doing that. I can't help it. This is delicious pizza. Okay. If I hear one more mmm or ah, I'm coming at you hard. <laughs> you hear? Gotcha. Ooh. That's it. <laughs> Get up, short stuff. Hit the stairs. Fine. I shouldn't have to eat in fear. Just to get the feel of breathing underwater, I'm gonna ask you to put your regulator in your mouth, let the air out of your BC, and float gently down to the bottom. Take a couple of breaths down there, and then just come right back up, okay? You three first. for me in your whole life. I married you. What do you call that? Uh, hitting the jackpot. <laughs> Funny thing happened to me the other day at work. Really? What? 
I delivered a package to this guy named Bub Capinas. <laughs> So, oh my Before we met, nothing in my life was right. Okay, you finished it. But I all that changed with Margie. You've blown me away. Oh, Carrie. Please. Hey, Arthur. Hello, Douglas. Uh, look, if you, you got a second, you might want to mosey on into the living room. What for? Well, I just think there's something in there that might interest you. Come on. Hey, D, question for you. Yeah. Do you ever feel bad about yourself, so you tell Kelly there are things wrong with her? Just to, you know, hurt her. You're asking me if I mentally abuse my wife? Yeah. No, I don't. Me neither. Wait, does this have anything to do with why Carrie was acting so freaky last night? You might, I don't know. What did you do? Well, first, she told me that I could stand to lose a little weight, so I told her to wear less makeup Work on her accent, her laugh, and her huge forehead. Uh, I'm sorry, her huge forehead? All right, maybe it's not freak show material, but she draws some looks. Come aside, bro. <laughs> you are messed up. How am I messed up? Carrie tells you you have to lose weight, which is like, come on. And you tell her she has to work on her forehead? Hey, I had to eat baby carrots at the movies. Yes. All right. Nice work on your relationship. Sounds real healthy. Hey, you know, don't judge me, uh, Mr. Black Dr. Joyce Brothers, okay? <laughs> You're tall and thin. You don't understand my issues. No, I don't want to understand them. Yeah. All right, but yeah, walk away. That's right, Tolly. Woohoo, I'm big. Yeah. Have fun ducking under doorways. I'm on this now. <laughs> I hate me. You guys are horrible at this. I'm horrible at no, this? No, you're not horrible. That's a little unfair, but you're... No, you are. You're horrible. So, for the last two weeks, you've just been pretending to like it? Kind of, yeah. I can't believe this. Mary, so what? This stupid poll thing didn't work out. Who cares? I still think you're the sexiest woman I've ever known. I mean, we have each other, and that's the only damn thing that matters. Oh! You're an ass. This is your idea in the first place, you know. I know. And now you're telling me that I suck at it? I mean, do you, do you know how humiliating this is? I know. We've both gone through hell these past two weeks. <laughs> and you know what, Doug? You really don't know what you're talking about because my instructor said I am very, very talented at this. Yeah, but that's because you're paying her. No, no. I'm doing the moves exactly like she taught us. Okay, you might be doing them right technically, but you, you're just not... Not what? But you, you're not feeling it. I'm not living it. Like that spin kick move you do? Yeah. You... Let me just show you. You need to become one with the pole, you know? Just feel it. Just feel it. Just have fun. Just you gotta feel it. Feel it every time. You gotta become one and just enjoy it. Enjoy who you are, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, and that upside down move you do when you get up there, you're here, you know, you gotta be up here like this. You're an angel. You're coming down, you're an angel. I'm an angel. Okay? Work it and become it. 